what do I want to discuss today? The main thing that I want to discuss with you is what are the keys to success? What's like when it comes down to having success in business, what are the main keys? What are the what is the foundation for you to have success in? Um, that's what I want to go through. What is the foundation? Because there's so much information out there. If you go and learn, there's there's so many um, audio books. There's so much information. There's so much content out there that, you know, everyone's saying this is this is how you get success. This is how you get success. But if you were to put that in a pool into a simple formula, um, this is what I want to share with you today. In my experience, you know, every time I've succeeded in business, the three main core steps that I'm going to be uh, that I've done, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. OK, so the first key, I would say, is to have a goal in mind. Right. Um, you need to have a goal, something in mind that you want to set out and achieve. So, yeah, so you need a goal in mind. Right. And when I speak to people, the average person, even people that have a desire to do business and entrepreneurship, I often ask them, what's your goal? Right. That's one of the first thing I ask them. And they're like, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know what my goal is. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. I don't say that to them. But in my mind, I'm thinking it's ridiculous because it's like, imagine you want to go on a journey in a car and you have, you've got your satellite navigation, right? Imagine you're with your friend and your friend says, let's go on a journey, right? So you're driving, the, they're following the satellite navigation and you say to your friend, where are we going, by the way? And he says, I don't know, nowhere, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. You think he's crazy in the same way with business. If you don't know what you want to achieve, then you're in a position where you're not going to be able to get to where you want to get to, right? Comment in this comment section what your goal is. So let me know what your goal is for yourself. So let's take it to the by the end of the year. Where do you want to be financially, right? Um, so if some people, they may say, you know, have one, two, three thousand pounds, um, at least maybe get in a position where they are making more money than their job will. Some people may say, you know, I want to make a lot more money than that tens of thousands um but the first point is getting very clear right so first and foremost like what is what is your goal what is what, you have to have clarity this is exactly what i want to achieve and when you start embedding that in your mind that becomes an obsession like i need to achieve that result right so that is something that's so so key having clarity where you're going the second key is having the path to get there, right? So let's say you wanted 2,000, you wanted 10,000, however much it is that you want to be achieving and earning. The next step is getting yourself in a position where you have a formula to success. What is your plan? What is your plan of action? You need a plan, right? And one of the best ways to do that is basically where well, there's a few things, which is number one, you need to find somebody that has the results that you want and copy the exact formula and structure and strategy, right? What is the steps they've taken? And often you invest in their mentorship, their learning, their time, their courses, their programs. And, you know, many people shy away from that. But, you know, that is one of the biggest keys to success, right? Um, so that is one key avenue that will fast track your success, right? Another element is you need to break it down into bite-sized chunks to see if I want this goal, where are the next 10, 20 things that you want to achieve that, that you need to do to achieve that? So, for example, it may be setting up a Shopify store, setting up a logo, doing a product research, setting up your first ad, like break down all the small milestones and then start plugging away day by day at those milestones. Um, so create a brand and a system for long term. Right. To be honest, and obviously, I'm not a scholar in any way and I'm not giving an opinion or a fatwa here. You can go and ask people. But my personal mindset is sadhaka starts at home, right? And you need to look after yourself and get yourself in a good position before anyone else, right? So before giving in charity, you should focus on paying your rent, your bills and even, you know, getting your house in place. Because in that way, you're providing for your family um, and getting your family in a good position, inshallah, right? So that's just my two pence, which is I believe Sadiqa starts at home and then get your foundations at home set in place, which I'm sure you're doing. And then focus on the outside world and who you can in and help um, in that space. OK, so the first point was have a goal. Second point is have an action plan. And the third element, which is very, very key, and this is where a lot of people go 
wrong and not achieve what they want because there's many people that have a goal let's say they want to earn a couple of grand many people out there they are in a position where um they buy a course or get some sort of mentorship or support but they still fail and that is because of key number 3 and key number 3 is essentially taking daily consistent regular action right over a long period of time so i'm going to say that again taking um consistent action over a long period of time so for example if you have um ever gone to the gym right uh gather up these back in the house awesome so if you've ever gone to the gym and seen somebody with massive muscles and they're a bodybuilder right um it is it's in a position where that person is has been doing bodybuilding they never did it overnight they took 1 to 3 years of consistent daily regular action of going to the gym at least a few times a week and eating with a structured system right in the same way in business is it's um it's the it's the same concept so first and foremost so for example with my clients and the people that we work with we get up and running and really fast track their business set up and launch to do it within a month but from there you need a consistent system in place where you're launching products on a weekly and monthly basis so you're learning and growing month in month out and if you're consistent at that one year two years three years you'll probably be having a six seven figure business right so consistency is huge and essentially you need to optimize every single day for you to have huge success so for example on every day you need to have a sleeping routine where your body's got enough nourishment with good sleep you need to have enough energy you need to be drinking enough water having enough food be focused on one core action and and not a hundred different things you need to take away take away all distractions and just focus your day on this is the time i'm working no distractions and grind daily on taking actions on your plan okay and another very key important point is that many people they go through hurdles in fact not many people every single one of us is going to go through hurdles like i've been going this just like last few days i've gone through crazy hurdles you can't imagine right challenges problems um you know people in my team having emergencies and not able to work you know um marketing accounts going down for the silliest reasons like it's it's crazy right so when you're starting up you need to be in a position where you understand that you're going to go through hurdle after hurdle after hurdle and just like one of those races where you have to jump over the hurdles many people fall 99.9% of the people will fall but those that keep consistent and keep patient and have the right mindset of keep going and making their vision of goal of whatever they want to achieve a must that they're not going to give up within 1 2 3 years those are the people that you look up to and think wow that person's achieved so much i wish i was there right so to summarize um the keys to success is number 1 having a clear defined goal of what you want to achieve number 2 is having a plan in place of you know how you're going to get there either by get, putting a more a plan in place or working with somebody like ourselves where we launch a business and put a plan in place for you um and the third step is having consistent daily action with your full mindset positive mindset energy where you're taking consistent daily actions and not giving up and going through every single hurdle that you go through if you can do those three things you know no matter what personal development or strategy there is out there you will succeed right there's a very high chance you'll succeed if you keep going right um so the question is is now what is your goal what is your plan are you in the right place to achieve what you want um for those of you that are in a position where maybe you don't have a plan um and you want my help and my team to launch your business with you and for you then just comment in the the comment section just write um i'm interested and send me a personal message i'll reach back out to you and then we can discuss how we can work together to get you up and running and really fast track your your launch of your business where you're up and running and generating sales um if you've got your own plan and action awesome in fact message me anyway let me know how it's going for you what help you need i'm here if you're in a position where you do want my help in launching up and running let's get on the phone tomorrow um and uh we'll start getting the ball rolling with launching your business so just put in interested in the bottom send me a message and then i'll catch up with you there so meanwhile over and out have a good night assalamu alaikum